Welcome to the build portion on the AC4137, the Zill Chernobyl fire truck. That's what we're going to be uh, building, obviously. Uh, instead of me showing you every single step, I don't think there's really much point. Instead, I'll just show you anything of difficulty, anything of concern in the major sub-assemblies. But I honestly think this is going to be a very straightforward build, so I encourage you to try it as well. And uh, let's, get, let's get on with this. Okay, first tip is um, any of these kits that have got the ladder frame chassis, i.e. two rails and a series of braces that are subcomponents. Uh, instructions sort of show them like everything just goes together as one. Uh, I recommend that you take this approach, which is building up, you know, one side, or actually you can do a mixture of um, both sides, but. The main thing here is to get these um, braces all cemented, you know, relatively firmly on one side of the rail or the other prior to joining on this or else you end up with this sort of, I don't know, wobbly, <laughs> falling apart thing. Um, it's just much easier to do it this way. And then it's just simply a case of... Um, like dry fitting. You, you dry fit as well when you put in the braces by the way but then you can just push these together check the fit, check the alignment, make sure it's all square and then just simply now all it is is just a case of uh, dropping the cement in behind there, so I just carry on with that I should just show you this one. I'm using this uh, what would you call it? Well, it's black cement. I just wanted to, I used it before, and um, the thing is, you can see it very, very clearly where you apply it. That can help with sort of sanding some components, and also, come on, it's a bit of a gimmick as well. I don't know what they use. Do they use black paint? Well, anyways, that's the way you do your ladder frame. Let's continue.
Okay, uh, chassis work is complete. What is there to say? Um, there's really nothing to show you. Everything is very straightforward. Um, nothing to look out for. Just make sure you check your alignments now and again. And uh, ignore the instruction asking to add on the chunky wheels before you attach these parts. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the more you look at it, it's a bit of a chunky sort of kit as well. But what's wrong with that sometimes, you know? Um, okay, it isn't like a, 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 you know, massively detailed. It's got not a photo etch in it or anything. The engine's okay. They made one. Um, nothing wrong with that. Let's, uh, let's continue and build this up. Okay, cab is sort of ready, basically. Um, again, didn't follow the instructions. The instructions have you mounting it onto the chassis and building bits up. Instead, just work around it. The only thing you need to leave off is the front grille. And in doing that, you can, you have to sort of jiggle it around a bit. And it's just this radiator here. And then, you can see that the whole unit fits on to the chassis so you can join it on later on which is what we want to do so there's nothing really add there the only other thing is we left out the seats and the steering wheel that's going to help us because we need to paint inside that box there but i'll show you how all that happens when we start painting it uh, the other thing to point to note is we need to fill that in and we'll do that later on Okay, except for details, that's the tank basically complete. I'll add on all the details in the next segment. Look at this gap at the back here. It's out by about two millimeters all the way around, and that's not my error. That is the way the kit is made. So basically, inside there, you have to chop off a little bit to get that lined up. Remember, you're going to see the back, not that area. Let's dry fit and see what it all looks like. Uh, if you put the cab on, If I can remember how to do that, but this is let's go on the go. Yeah, like that, then over and then down. That clips on like so. And then this guy has just got a couple of um, uh, clips 
to my back. Whew, fortunately, <laughs> you can't see that big gap at the back, so we don't even need to fill it. Oh, that's good. Good news. Good news all around. Let me just check this out. Oh, it looks cool. Look at the size of it as well. Nice big vehicle. Okay, here's an impression of how it's looking now. Much more like a fire engine. Most of the details have been added. Also, I've uh, dry fitted on everything, basically, including the wheels, so you get an impression of how it looks like. Uh, the other thing I did, I tried um, sanding down the wheels to get down this mold line on them, and uh, it just makes it fuzzy. So what I've done, I've ordered some. I've ordered some from um, Def Models and hopefully they come in time. But regardless, this is all dry fit. And I'll just show you a couple of things here in terms of construction. You can see that even the, uh, the monitor and that hose line, they're all just connected up to the tank body. Um, I've left anything that is gonna be of a different color which is basically the silver of the or the aluminium color of the steps. Those are separate, but everything on here is red, so it's just one big piece now. Um, so I'll be able to paint this in modules. So we'll have the tank body. And then we'll have the cab and the chassis, all the separate components. Uh, there's a little bit of work, obviously we need to add a few more details on this. The other thing I've just started to do, I've just started to scribe out these lines. I want the, um, the cab doors to be quite well defined, which they should be as well. There should be big gaps, um, you know, according to the references as well. These very small panel lines are just, too insufficient so the model build part is nearly complete I've got a box here of um, bits and pieces as well that are separate like the separate paint parts really the details to add there's something else I need to do as well yeah I need to well fill this gap we'll do that and um, I'm sure there was another item as well yeah, there was some other aspect that I need to work on. Yes, this is the spare tyre here. And the spare tyre is attached underneath the chassis. And it's just got these two very small um, plastic supports. So this goes on like so. Just like that. But 
I'm going to super glue that on so it's totally firm and becomes, you know, there's no danger of this snapping off or, or whatever. So we'll carry on and we'll basically have the, uh, that's all that there really is to show in terms of the build. I'll just show you the other details and little bits and pieces. There really wasn't that much to this build, um, which... Uh, just the way, just the way it is. I mean, I'm not a real out uh, shake and bake type builder. There's no point in me showing you how to build it to me a kit. Anybody can do that if you have, you know, just some modest skill sets. And I would say this ICM kit really fits in that category. It is uh, Tamiya esque in its simplicity. So uh, go out, buy one, and enjoy building one. That's that's what I say. So uh, let's get this finished off, this first part, and then we'll do the figure building. Okay, let's wrap up this build video. The figures, I mean, yeah, there's no point really showing you the process because they're so straightforward and also they're not really entirely built up. Um, no biggie there, they're just plastic figures. So uh, we'll drill some holes through the feet, mount them, and then get on the painting, all that sort of stage later on. Uh, just, we'll just sort of show you the facial details. Well, I do like showing that to you. They are pretty good, they are pretty good figures. Um, there were so many spare parts that I managed to build up the entire set of chassis rails. Don't know if I'll use that or not, uh, but hey, it's something that's part of the kit. And then finally, I've got an impression of how the vehicle looks built up here. So there you go, I've sort of pat fixed on the, the rubber tyres. Um, might have to live with them, might not, not too sure. Depends if the resin wheels arrive in time or not. Um, hope they do. But uh, overall, really good build. I've tried to fix on as much as I can as possible. You saw me uh, add the panel lining and also just cleaned up that gap there at the front. And that's basically it. So uh, yeah, recommended kit recommend you buy one and then we'll see in the next stage there's going to be some painting and I'll explain all that later on.